Hello everyone and welcome to Warrior Friday. So this morning I asked Spirit and my Spirit Guides to choose us a card from the Earth Warriors Oracle. And I have to laugh because they gave me this card. This is card number 43 and it's Viracocha. And the last time I used this deck, we got this card. So I asked Spirit, yes, honor the light. I get it, but we already did a video on this. So could I please have a different card? So I put the card back in the deck and I shuffle, 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 shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Do my little meditation and this card pops out again. And I said, okay, I will mention this card that we need to honor the light as light warriors. But will you please give me another card because we already did a video on this. So I had to share that with you that um, we need to honor the light as light warriors. Not fight the dark, but honor the light and be the light. Okay? So now having said that and having been given this card twice, I asked for an additional card and we received card number 39 which is kin of the Red Hawk tribe. Anka, beautiful picture. So I'm going to read from the book. Anka, kin of the Red Hawk tribe. On the wings of red-tailed hawk, a divine message comes, probably to honor the light. Your spiritual maturity has evolved into genuine power and discernment. You have earned your stripes. Thank goodness, huh? Acknowledgement is granted. Trust yourself and your destiny. You are ready. Trust in your sense of timing, which is excellent and inspired. Allow the divine to support you as you hover until the moment comes for you to fearlessly plunge into your forthcoming adventure. Ooh, that sounds awesome. So, there are some on the spiritual path that claim to be more evolved than others. Of course, these are likely to be the ones learning an important lesson in humility. Then there are the souls that know they have come with a special purpose to lead, guide, and inspire others yet they do not feel this makes them in any way superior to another. It is simply the way by which they can fulfill their divine destiny. These are the red-tailed hawk tribe, and you are one of their own. The red tail feathers only emerge in maturation, signifying that this bird of prey is a soul symbol for spiritual maturity in service to the rest of the tribe. This is also reflected by the red color associated with their feathers and the base chakra from the Vedic tradition of India. Red is the color of ground, earth, belonging, family, and tribe. With material reality and the collective consciousness that we can create for each other to either move us forward as a race or hold each other back. Anka or hawk, is the medicine of the messenger. This is the one who sees and feels the birth of the new world and who recognizes that which is outmoded and belongs only to the past. It is a progressive, honest, action-oriented medicine. As a channel between higher wisdom and earthly concerns, Anka brings a way to get things done in harmony with the universe. This comes with a healing process. If you can sit with your feet on the ground or the floor, don't do this while you're driving, <laughs> and just relax. Focus on your breath as you imagine intend, pretend, or feel that your awareness 
moves away from the everyday world and follows your breath into a sacred space within you and all around you. Focus on the breath for at least 10 breaths in and 10 breaths out. You are now going to imagine, visualize, or intend that there is a magnificent red-tailed hawk sitting on top an ancient, sacred, spiritual book. The hawk is gazing steadily at you. You see that this book has your name on the cover. The hawk suddenly alights from the book, and the motion causes the book to open at a particular page. You are going to see, feel, absorb, or read that page now within your soul. You may or may not see, hear, or feel images and words. It may simply be that you are willing to remain open and allow the wisdom to soak straight into your soul. Take another deep breath. When you are ready, relax and slowly begin to focus on your breath, grounding yourself by moving first your hands and feet and then your whole body as you come back into the here and now. You have completed your healing process. That is beautiful. So I know it's, it's real quick doing it with this video, so what I'd like to do is give you homework and try this on your own. Take your own sweet time. Find that calm, quiet, happy place. Ask the red-tailed hawk to come to you. Check out that book again. You can check it out anytime you want. And ask for wisdom and knowledge that pertains to you and then soak it up. It's been my pleasure to spend this time with you today. Remember, we're all warriors and sometimes being a gentle warrior is the best kind of warrior. So thank you for joining me, all you light warriors and warriors of love. You have a most blessed day. I send you my love and you will see me here again. Namaste.